Hello guys and welcome back. We've got some fantastic news today and I am very, very hyped that this is what they've decided to do. So I'm going to jump in and break this down. Now this is a very good patch notes. We've not had a patch notes this exciting for a while. Now we have Disney Heroes Battle Mode 5.9.01 update. Now I was able to get Luz up to the highest level over this um, event that's been going on. So um, I do have to say I like the way they're doing the new characters where they're not giving you the um, uh, characters in a prize wall now. It's actually being limited to getting them in the daily sign-ins and things like that. And we also had a leap year contest as well, uh, which is nothing, which is which was a bit of a glorified Fortnite network contest, unfortunately, guys. But anyway, that's not what we're looking at today. We're going to break down this update, and I'm very excited to do that. So let's jump in and see what we've got today. So this is the biggest thing to take away here, and it's the new prize wall, which has been revamped. We've got the skins now, and we've got hero levels and ranks, and we've got month two of the battle pass. Now, this kind of shows what I think the battle pass is going to end up being. So there's going to be two battle passes for each hero. And what that allows is basically, um, I think, like two months-ish per hero. And I think it works really well because what it allows this game to have is not having a hero every other week like it was coming out last year because it was too hard to maintain and this is going to allow the meta to shift a lot less as well so allow people to actually focus on the sort of op characters until the next one comes out and then you can see what's going on so what have we got we've got a battle pass month two as you remember from previous patch notes and announcements we're slowing down so that's what we want they're slowing down the hero release uh, with that in mind, Luz will be featured in a second month of Battle Pass, but with exclusive cosmetics. So this is interesting because a lot of you have been asking about cosmetics and this is bringing it back in. So the month two Battle Pass will have similar rewards as month one with these additions. So we're going to be having Luz Mastery Threads. Now that's her costume. And on the premium track, we're going to get more threads. We're going to get a, I don't know why that says cringe avatar excited avatar and exclusive border so we're getting a nice range of avatars to show off your favorite characters if you go down that premium route now i personally don't see why you would buy this premium track but i don't mind this because what this is doing it it's solely giving you a premium track which is really only to support the devs of the game because you're only going to get cosmetics so you know, it's definitely not a bad thing. People wanted costumes, so you are going to be able to grab costumes now, guys. So, this is what I'm quite hyped for as well. The highest source is over. We're excited to announce the prize ward is coming back later this month, featuring Daisy Duck. As we all know, the hero has migrated into the battle pass. The new hero has migrated into the battle pass, and we want to keep the prize wall around as an exciting event and extra resources, special rewards, and exclusive cosmetics. So hopefully they're going to be giving us a costume for, um, well, yeah, it should be a costume for Daisy Duck. So the prize wall will include a new meta quest tailored towards the featured hero. Don't know what that is, but I'm excited to see that. A hero refresh for Daisy. Free week one time with one week in between the next one. I like that. Inclusion of wish crates in the reward pool, an improvement in the stamina consumables, and a new jackpot, which is mastery threads, which is the costumes. So again, all very good. The first one's coming out on the 21st of March. So that's towards the end of this month. So I like that. They're kind of hyping us in quite nicely that we're going to have this new prize wall appearing later on this month. And we've got a new battle pass as well. There's lots of cool stuff coming out, which I'm quite hyped for. Now, so this is um, quite cool because this is going to kind of be like the way it works. And I'm quite excited to kind of show you this, guys. So, let us take the game back in November with Frodo Loose Mastery Skins. So they said about this, and I'm not going to cover it all um, in a load of... Sorry, my cat's doing weird things in the corner. So, yellow quality of life, non-guild perks. So, I've, you've seen all of this, guys. So this is the thing here. Existing heroes will basically have 
coloured, which stack up, which is quite cool. So it's saying here, there are three tiers of the frets. And these are going to be the ones that are coming out in the battle pass. So you can get gold, platinum, or challenger. Challenger is like diamond, so it's basically gold, platinum, diamond. It's the same way as the PvP works. Um, so yeah, you can see it there, how many threads you need. Again, at the moment, I don't know how many threads the jackpots are. So I don't have too much to comment about how easy it's going to be. But, um, like I said, the the prize that you get in the prize wall is going to be some shreds. So I'm intrigued to see how it's going to work, but we'll find out probably closer to the time. So once you've unlocked a master skin, a new challenge will appear for that hero. Completing these achievements will not be easy, but you can earn an exclusive avatars award. Achievements include winning battles in Arena Coliseum while wearing particular cosmetics. So it's quite a fun little extra mode they've added in there, which I think is pretty cool. So we've got chapter 79 gold per run increased. Up to 500,000, not having a, thousand, a million in elite, so it's getting more money now. Um, this will not affect past chapters. The fix the UI issue, adjust gold, diamonds, and token buy cost. Brilliant. So it's just little changes there. Increase stamina award for each new team level. Brilliant. Significant bump to stamina generated daily check ins. Brilliant. Uh, fix an issue with mailbox claiming, crashes. Fix gear rank, Mickey Mouse, fix the looping issue, change, change, change. Really nice changes there. So, yeah. Yes. These look absolutely incredible, guys. So, with that being said, I want to know what you guys are most excited for. Personally, I'm most excited for the prize wall they're bringing back. I always loved doing the prize war content uh, with you guys here. But yeah, do make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you're most excited to see in these... <clears throat> Let me know what you're most excited to see in these updates. Because like I said, there's a lot of interesting things coming out and I'm very excited to get stuck into it. So guys, do make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and also click that top link in description to support my brother's channel he's working on. We're nearly at 400 subscribers, which is unreal, guys. And I will see all of you legends in the next one. What I got here, guys, to sign off with my yogurt. I don't know what I'm doing. See you later.